All right, guys, so once we have this thing drawn, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that we can um, add color to this. This is gonna be an option for you guys if you want. If you wanna leave it simply pen, you can leave it simply pen too. Um, but I'm gonna give you a couple different options on how you can actually uh, add some color. Okay, so for the sake of just keeping everything separate, I'm gonna just use a little bit of tape just to mask off this area here, okay? Okay, so one of the things that we can do along with the pen is to use watercolor, all right? So watercolor, obviously, you know, most of us have used this before we're gonna dip it in some water, right? I have this little cup of water off to the side here, all right? The water is gonna activate the paint, okay, so activate that paint, and then I want to go in and I want to start in my darker areas, and then slowly pull up so that I'm with the paint reflecting what's actually happening in the value, okay? Um, just like any other color medium, I can use other colors to darken this. So if I wanna pull a little bit of orange and then go back into my yellow, all right? And pull from there. I, do, I have to be careful with this because I don't want to put so much color on that I lose the pen that I have underneath, right? I just want to put enough that I'm bringing, bringing some color into it, okay? So really, because watercolor reactivates really well, I can go in and add that orange into all those areas. Then I can go back with my yellow and my water and reactivate that, blending them together. All right, so I don't want to put it on so thick that I can't see the pen work. But at the same time, I don't want to make it so watered down that I potentially make the, the pen bleed. Okay, now it's, that shouldn't happen with the pens that we're using. The pen really should not have any, be any danger of, of bleeding, but never say never, okay? Stranger things have happened. But if I just put some on, use a little water, just pull it into my lighter values, all right? And I can get things like that, all right? Real easily, I can change the color, all right? So let's say I wanna do, make this a blue block, all right? So I can lay in that blue, just like we did with the color pencil, I can pull in other colors that are around on the color wheel, so I can pull in purples to darken those blues, right? And I can pull in orange, right? We learned that. I can pull in the orange to darken that blue even more. All right, but I don't wanna hide all the pen work. I just wanna give a little bit of a color to this thing. Careful to stick with your edges. All right. All 
We're still doing a hard edge image, so we still want to apply our paint to a hard edge area. Okay. Okay, so option number two that we can do is we can use chalk pastels, or in our case, chalk pastel pencils. All right, so the key to doing this is we've already created a completely finished pen drawing, right? We just want to add a little touch of color, all right? Now, this is meant to be smeared a little bit, all right? So we're going to put some basic color, go through a couple different values, right? Because I'm making this blue, and this is a dark area. I still want to work that orange into it. All right, and then I can take just so, some Q-tips or a tissue or a, a blending stump, tortillion, all right, whatever, whatever I happen, happen to have on hand, and I can blend those colors together. All right, and you can see next to the watercolor, it has a very similar effect, okay? So if we were to continue all right, with this yellow one down here. I'm gonna take another Q-tip so my blue doesn't mix. Okay, and I do something like that. You can see the values are not much different, but what we do when, when this is all done, when this whole section is done, is we're gonna take some of this stuff, this, cl this crystal clear, um, coating that we can spray on and when we spray this all the black pen is going to come back to the forefront all right so hopefully you can start to see more of the black coming through all right obviously you would want to finish all of it and then spray it because now it's going to be really hard if not impossible to, for me to do anything else in here but all that by spraying it the color goes to the background and all the the pen work comes to the foreground. So that's option number two, the pastel pencils. Okay, so option number three is actually combining both of these, all right, the pastel pencils with the watercolor. So what we would do with this is we would start as if we're just doing the pastel pencils, okay? We're not gonna overdo it with them, all right, we're gonna Work a little bit of that color in. All right, use a little bit of that green because we have, are in a dark area, right? We can lay in different reds. All right, if we're gonna make this a red block. Now, instead of taking a Q-tip and blending this, now what I wanna do is I wanna actually take watercolor all right, and water, water more importantly than even the watercolor, and start to use the pastel there as my watercolor. All right, and if I take a little bit of that water, I can pick that up, I can start moving it around. All right, I can work actual watercolor into it. Pull some green watercolor into that dark area. All right, to really bump up those darks. I can bring in some some orange and some lighter tones as I get up towards the top. All right, and again, I can just use straight water. and pull just to add a little bit of value. We're not looking for a full dark image here necessarily, okay? We just want a hint of color, all right? Now what's gonna happen is that 
that watercolor is going to set the pastel so we don't have to worry about spraying this at this point spraying it wouldn't necessarily hurt anything but it's not going to really do make much of a difference all right so there's a three different options that we can do there straight watercolor straight uh, pastel pencils or a combination of watercolor and pastel pencils.